Hi, this is Grace Pamela with SummerOnIt.com, and this is the preview and tutorial on how to use the Floating Paddles Overlay in Action Collection. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to use your Action Collection and how to apply your pedal overlay. So you go ahead and you press play, and then you choose an overlay PSD from your Floating Paddles um, Overlay Collection. Okay, then you press place, and then here you have a pedal, and you can resize it, link here, and then you can resize it to fit your image. You can also rotate it so that it looks like it's falling anywhere that you like it to be. Then you press the check mark, and now you have your rose overlay. You can do this multiple times. If you choose one that you think might be good, but then you change your mind, just press the cancel and then press play again and you can keep doing that till you find one that you like. I like to make some of them a realistic rose petal size that's kind of in the same um, field as her. And I like to make some of them that are big. You can play around with it with, for different options. For the ones that are large, I like to blur it so that it looks like it's out of focus. So here you'll see you have different pedal resizers and rotators. It makes it super easy to go back and edit the, each layer individually. And you can see which rose petal is which by just turning off the eye and turning it back on. Let's say I want to edit this one. You can go ahead and blur your petal. And you can press this as many times as you'd like to get the effect that you're looking for. You can also spot erase it. Let's say part of it um, would be behind her. You can erase it off of her. You can lighten your petal by selecting which one you want to lighten or darken. And then you press play. And then you'll see this is the darkened layer. You can adjust the opacity of each editor. When you're finished adding all of your rose overlays, you can go ahead and add different final image editors. So like Thorn Depth. And this will add an overall finished look to your image, which will help blend in your petals and your image together again. You can add more color, and you can add different tones. And again, you can adjust the opacity however you'd like. Here are some more tools that can help you as you're going along. You can zoom in, zoom out, spit on screen, flatten your image resize for the web, web sharpening, and happily ever after, which will help save it and just make things a lot simpler. And that's all there is to it, really. Um, you can go back and resize it, rotate it as you like. And then I'm going to show you really quick in PSE. It's the same exact thing. You're going to apply a petal overlay, whichever one you'd like. Press place. Hold down your shift key. Or you can go down here and make sure the constraint proportions is checkmarked. Then you can resize it, rotate it. Press it. You can also rotate it or resize it. Another thing you can do is change petal perspective. And you just kind of drag the corners out or in. And this will help change it for you, the perspective. And you can also blur your petal more, lighten, darken, add thorn depth. More color, different tones. You can also mix and match them if you'd like. And you can also adjust the opacity up here. You 
can also zoom in and zoom out put on screen and that's really all there is to it it only takes a few minutes to complete your entire look it really depends on how many petals you'd like to add to your image and there you have it there's the preview and tutorial for the floating petals collection by samarta.com thank you so much for watching